Uh, I'm an 18 year old. I'm a cyclist, ride bikes all the time, every day, always race my bike. I'm also a student, so I just finished year 12 um, last year, and now I'm going into science at the University of Melbourne. Actually, it was 99.95. Just lots of hard work, lots of time. I was always using every spare second I had, whether it was on the ergo, in the car, between uh, efforts at the velodrome, just whenever I could, I just thought, may as well just fit a bit more in, and yeah, it paid off. Uh, as an under 23, you actually took out the national title for the road nationals in Australia. What was that like? Yeah, it was amazing. That was one week ago and it still feels like yesterday almost. I can still feel the excitement and the happiness when I crossed the line. It was just so special. I didn't expect it at all. Well, I couldn't get the champagne open at all. So Sarah Roy and Amanda Spratt had to help me on the podium, which was pretty embarrassing. But it turns out I had a dodgy bottle because they took the wire caps off the other two uh, girls' bottles, but not mine. <laughs> yeah, riding on the road, it's really interesting, I find, like, much more than Sometimes the ergo or the tracking, it could get a bit boring, but I like to go outside often just to see new hills, or go with my friends, and also, yeah, explore more places. Uh, normally I ride in bunch rides, so sometimes two of birds, we go out to like Ivanhoe and Heidelberg, out to the little hills around there, or on Saturday mornings I always go out to King Lake with the Peak Cycles crew, so. How long do you train for each day? Oh, it really varies on what's coming up and also how much time I have. Anywhere between 45 minutes and four and a half hours per day. I use Lyft a lot, so I'm quite addicted to ergos. Normally I do between one and maybe four per week, even when it's sunny outside and I'm not injured. I just do it because I love it and it's really efficient training. Yep. So, so you prefer the ergo over the roads or? Oh, I wouldn't say I prefer the ergo over the road. I like a mix. I do like the road a bit more, I think, because of the social aspect, but the ergo is definitely a good second. And you use Zwift and uh, do you find Zwift to be a good training uh, platform to work with or do you prefer to be out with the Pelotons and actually out on the, the Tour de Burbs and the down the beach road and that sort of thing? I think you need a mix. So. Neither one on its own nor the other on its own would work quite as well as it, just using them both together. So Tour de Bevs is good because I can push myself and also see my friends, it's really fun. Um, and Zwift is good because I can use erg mode with the power and resistance to get a really decent training session in. No red lights. Yeah, I do go out on the roads when it's raining sometimes, but usually the group rides are somewhat diminished in the rain. so. That's a good excuse to stick to the ergo. <laughs> Do you see yourself as a role model? I guess in a way, because I think people always look up to the, the people doing the same things, just older, so and we've done more. So, like I look up to Amanda Spratt and Shannon Malseed because they're racing on the international stage and they've won races like the ones I've been winning, like a long time ago. Some of them, like even Junior Amanda Spratt went to Junior Worlds quite a few years ago so just like that I think sometimes like junior girls maybe look up to us older ones and can see like their future in what we've done. What do you think of the responsibilities as being a role model? I think there are always responsibilities I have to conduct myself well and yeah it's not too hard just keep smiling and being nice to the little kids. I like to do that anyway, so it's not too different. So you, you mentioned you look up to Amanda Spratt, who else, and um, so who was? Shannon Mulsey. And Shannon, yeah. Shannon. Who else do you look up to yourself? Um, probably Kimberly Wells, she's retired now, but she raced like on the international stage and represented Australia a few times and was a national crit champion and she's also a doctor, so it's really cool that she was able to balance both. Also, Lisa Hawkins won the National Road Series a couple of years ago while being like one of the best doctors out there. So, yeah, it's pretty special. Because pretty, there's not as many women out there. What do you think we need to do to change that? I think just encouraging girls and women from the early steps. So it doesn't matter how fast you are or how fast you want to be, just get out there, have fun, ride with your mates, and yeah, it will 
get better from there. And how have those role models changed your life? How have they, how have they impacted you? I think just seeing the value of never giving up. Uh, for example, Anime Van Vluten, you probably remember her, the woman who crashed going down the descent into the Olympics the finish line she yes. crashed and she was going to win and instead she was really injured but the way she came back from that even stronger and totally dominated the next uh, the next season that was really special so yeah that really helped me when I had a tough uh, injury season last year and I was able to come back stronger. Uh, so I want to go to the University of Melbourne this year uh, to study a Bachelor of Science uh, however, I don't really know what I want to do exactly, so I'm just doing that, keeping all the pathways open, so maybe engineering or computer science, possibly law even, so yeah, I'm not sure. As a role model, do you see your academic career and your cycling, do you see any of those, one overtaking the other, or do you see them both being as important as each other? I think they're both really important, like that's who I am, I'm also really like dedicated student as well as a dedicated athlete and I like that so yeah I think it's important to have a balance and it's good for other people to see that you can do both. That's a hard question, two years is a long time so I think I'll probably just keep having fun on the bike training really really hard and hopefully I'm a bit stronger in two years. Oh, I watched the Nationals replay and all I noticed was that I really need to do more core. <laughs> yeah I think you can concentrate on more than one thing though so I will put a lot of effort into my studies as always, like last year I got the perfect ATAR while still going to Europe, so yeah I think it's possible to do both and I don't think I have to sacrifice one for the other. Yeah I just say keep having fun, don't worry too much about how fast you are and if you just go out with your mates and push yourself really hard then it will all come. <laughs>